So, Dean, uh, Kading, Kadig, Kadig, Kindig, Kindig. Dean King did. Yeah, still rock. <laughs> Love you, Dean. So, um, if you're not following uh, TC underscore, or TC Bills underscore, underscore Astro, so TC Bills underscore Astro. I know you're putting it on the screen. I'm going to look like an idiot. Um, I can't see. It's on the screen right now, Mario. It's not. It's, it's not. so hard doing a talk show with Mike Tyson. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, repeat. <laughs> TC, 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 I, 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 bro I broke my back. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> bro my, my back is broken. Spinal. <laughs> what kind of injury is it? Is it like a vertebrae? Mm, spinal. <laughs> anyway, um, so Dean, Dean always, he works for Draft Tech, so he always does a great job. Um, he really does, always does a great job. So um, he's got it broken down by who the Bills have visited based on position, like who the top scout visits have been mm -hmm. this year. Um, so obviously Bosa for an edge rusher, most scout visits to Bosa. For uh, inside defensive line, uh, Ed Oliver, Williams, Wilkins, and Bugs are his big inside D-line guys. For wide receiver, it's been Metcalf, Brown, um, and Ridley in the slot. It's been Marquise Brown. For cornerbacks, it's been uh, G. Williams, Baker, Love. For running backs, it's been Harris, Jacobs, Holyfield, which I don't understand why you go see Holyfield. I, he's not that impressive. Um, and D. Williams. For tight end, there's four of them. There's Smith, uh, Nauda, Mack, and Gentry. For outside linebackers, uh, another kid named Josh Allen um, and uh, White. And then for offset, offensive tackle, one, Jonah Williams. One, one offensive tackle. So let's review, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five defensive line guys. You've got four wide receivers. You've got three cornerbacks, four running backs, four tight ends, two linebackers, and one offensive tackle as your top scout visits. So where, where do you... Where do you think the Bills are going in the draft? Wait, does that change the way that you perceive the Bills are approaching the draft? Knowing who they're I can take it two. Are. I can take it two ways. I can say one, they're going to make a huge push for offensive talent and free agency. Mainly the line, mm -hmm. probably the line. Who knows? Because we're only visiting one tackle. Um, they could make that. <clears throat> that could be one area of thought. The second area of thought is. They're um, they're still looking to go offense with the first pick, but they're given the illusion that they're going defense. So people will want to trade up with them as well. Okay. Okay. We need to get up there. Okay. The Bills are even looking for defensive guys, guys that we want. Yeah. No, we okay. got we got to get up there. So it All raises right. the ante of what the kit people are willing to give the Bills to trade up and trade up. Okay. I approach this a little bit differently. As so, you always do. Remember back. Let's go into the Wayback Machine when the Bills drafted Deion Dawkins. Do okay. I have to? Wayback Machine. So, Bills draft Deion Dawkins to the chagrin of a lot of us, right? I didn't get it. I didn't... I, I got it, but I didn't really get it because I didn't think they were addressing all the needs that they had had because they... I was... They drafted... You know, they, they had Miller, and Miller was fine, you know. I was indifferent because I thought he was going to be a guard. I said, okay, right. But you're drafting a guard kind of high, whatever, right? Whatever, right? So, but the talk about him was good, you know. Like he's, he's going to be a good guard. No, I mean not Quentin Nelson, but I don't know who anybody. No, because you, you you know you can't really bull rush him. Yeah. So you're like, hey, great. He's going to be a good run supporting. Going. He's going to be good run on supporting. Yeah. Run supporting guard, right? So, all right, um, but that kind of got glossed over because remember the Bills in round one were super connected to Hassan Reddick, the the linebacker from Temple. Mm -hmm. So the Bills were like, the Bills are all in on a Hassan Reddick. That, that'll be their guy. That's going to be their guy. That's going to be their guy. That's going to be their guy. Right? Reddick was on the board. Yep. A couple times <laughs> for the Bills. All right, I liked Reddick. Right. I liked Reddick too. But the Bills didn't draft Hassan Reddick. Arizona did. 
the Bills ended up drafting Deion Dawkins. Now, listen, you can talk about these top scout visits, but really, you shouldn't pay attention to the players that they are. You should pay attention to the colleges that they go to. Because those guys aren't just there to scout one player. Yes, they're going to be there. But there's a half a game that's not happening when they're there to scout one player. You're going to send a scout there for one player? You're crazy, right? Yeah. So yeah. You're, sending, you're sending a scout to, to scout Bosa. Great. Well, you better pay attention to this side of the football where you're there, right? Mm-hmm. And that's where the Bills got Dawkins. So, or the other team. Yeah, Whoever I mean, they're playing. Yeah, yeah. You you double down on that, sure. But the fact still remains that Hassan Reddick and Deion Dawkins were connected, right? They were connected because they were both involved in an off-season incident at Temple that involved the police. So, they never brought in Deion Dawkins. Never once gave a sniff that they were interested in him from a media standpoint. Right? Didn't I, have like him. I like where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Didn't ever bring him in for a visit. Not, they never work him out. None of that. Talked to him at the draft, but everybody get, everybody talks to everybody at the draft yeah. or at the combine. So that that's no big deal. Um, but through the vetting of Hassan Reddick, right, they got to Deion Dawkins. And they were able to clear Dawkins from a character perspective to pass the character assessment, right? They were able to get through Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick's like, no, dude, Deion's a great guy, right? Yeah, gets drafted. So when you start looking at who the Bills are scouting, you have to pay attention to what school it is and what other players are on the board because they the Bills aren't there just to scout one player. They're not. Do you think that? <clears throat> well, I like your uh, I like your assessment of the situation that they were involved in that incident. Um, I I can I disagree with it for one point. I would love even to though I disagree. Love Go ahead. The fact is. It could have been that they talked to Hassan Reddick wanting to find out information about Deion Dawkins. Absolutely, yeah. However, do you think he'd be the best? Because he's always <clears throat> going to stand up for his teammate. Mm-hmm. I think that when they called the coach about Hassan Reddick and brought him in, mm-hmm. then they talked to the coach about it. He said, yeah, Dawkins, he's a, he's a stand-up kid. He does, mm-hmm. he does everything you want him to do. He, mm-hmm. works, his, you know, he works his tail off. Yeah. He's going to be good. Okay. Yeah, a good so, front office. But I mean, a, a good I guess, front office. Yeah, a good front office recognizes that opportunity. I mean, they they do more they do more background checks than the FBI when they're scouting these kids coming out. Oh, I mean, sure. It's ridiculous how many, how many how many things go on. But I guess not a, not a disagreement to your point, but in addition to your point, they probably talk more with the coach about the character of Dawkins to try to confirm what Hassan Reddick maybe said. Yep. So, um, so that weaving that back into right now, mm-hmm. you're saying that a lot of the players that they're talking to. They want different players from those teams. Yeah, but okay. primarily on the other side of the football. So right? they want the offensive play. So if you're talking to, let's just say, they're, they're, they put Bosa on there. Yeah. Who is the toughest tackle in practice for you to go against? Mm-hmm. Okay, this guy. Because he was, he, was, he was the toughest guy for me to get past. Okay. Sweet. Let's look at him. Yeah. Let's Absolutely. draft him. Let's talk Absolutely. to the coach about him. Why All do right. Think, why right. do you think – Why do you think? Like that's it. why they're – in my opinion, that's why they're only scouting – one offensive tackle, Stone Williams. I mean, who's going to know Jonah Williams better than Brian Dable right now, right? Brian yeah. So why are you even sending a scout? Why are you even sending a scout to be one of the top visits? Why are you doing it? It's because they're probably looking at other things at Alabama that Brian Dable wouldn't be privy to. However. In the end? Right. Yep. Right, exactly. Now, now you're picking up where I'm going. So what I'm saying is <laughs> offense, like guys that are here on defense that are getting scouted, they might not – really be getting scouted. Yes, they're getting scouted, right? You're sent, you're putting in the work to do, but you're also having those scouts while they're there say, let's just pay a little bit of attention to, you know, the lines. Well, let's pay a little bit of attention to this. Because you got to have a half football game that you're not going to watch if you're only there to scout one defensive player. We talked about it last year. <clears throat> we talked about it last year. They brought in like, or they scouted like four or five running backs, didn't mm-hmm. they? Yep. Please tell me one of those was from Virginia Tech. I can't remember, but if it was, they drafted Wyatt Teller. Uh huh. <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> ding ding. We were ding. like, "Why are you scouting running backs? Yeah, why? you have Shady. You just signed Ivory. Why are you scouting backs?" Yeah, and they bring Wyatt Teller. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be interesting to know. You know, it'd be interesting to know. You sneaky bills. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. The process is sneaky. <laughs>